Hello, my name is Ethan and welcome to this tutorial. I am a robot which helped to prepare this tutorial for you. In this video we discuss HydraCal and how it could help you to evaluate your water distribution system planning, and designs. Designing water distribution system components such as water mains, pump stations, or reservoirs is a complicated task that requires a robust knowledge of hydraulics and a good experience with the particular system that the new component is being designed for. This is a complicated task because each system has a set of existing boundary conditions such as pump stations, reservoirs, etc. with various states. For example, the number of pumps, or their rotational speed in a pump station could change by demand. The demand itself is a variable, and water level in the reservoirs would also vary by time. Now the question is which of these states or their combinations should be considered while designing the new system component. In other word, under what conditions you would evaluate your plans for the new component. In the traditional approach, designers only evaluate their plans under a handful of conditions which are called critical scenarios. It is assumed that these scenarios examine the component under the most severe conditions. And designers hope that this new component would not experience more severe operational scenarios in its lifetime. This is an accepted norm in the industry, which is due to the fact that preparing each scenarios, and testing it, is a time-consuming manual task, even with most sophisticated software in the market and designers have a limited time frame to evaluate their plans. There are several major issues with this approach. To start, the designers rely on their knowledge and experience to define the critical set. This means various designers may choose different scenarios as critical set to evaluate their plans. In other word, the design's outcomes are subjective rather than being objective. As mentioned previously, System components have to withstand thousands of various operational conditions, while this approach only evaluates the plan under a limited number of scenarios. Therefore, there is always a good chance to miss a critical conditions and put the system under risk. Finally, preparing each scenario is a manual task, which is prone to human mistakes, and it is time consuming process. Let's see how HydroCal could help water utility planners, and designers to overcome these issues, and decrease the risks imposed by them to the system. In general, HydroCal is a water distribution system simulator that allows you to simulate your network. In this regard it is similar to other models available in the market. What makes it different from the rest is, its ability in generating full range of system operational scenarios automatically evaluating them, and finally reporting their results in the way that makes decision making for the user easy. In other word, HydraCal eliminates the design risks, minimizes the human mistakes, and it saves time. It also includes several modules that helps to optimize your design, evaluate system resiliency, find critical components, and perform comprehensive fire analysis on your system. Let's take a look at one of the projects, in which HydraCal was used to evaluate a major water main design and compare HydraCal outcomes with the traditional approach. But before this, it is worth to mention a couple of notes. First, the project name and some of its information are obfuscated for security reasons. Second, this case study was previously presented in a WWA 2016 conference in Windsor, Ontario. You may find the manuscript on our website which provides you with detailed information about the project and its outcomes. The link to download this manuscript is provided in the description section of this video. The goal of this project was to size a new water main that is parallel to an existing water main and evaluate its impact on the system, and vice versa. The water main is located in a large pressure zone which includes eight pump stations with various number of pumps, and two reservoirs. The original design was based on the traditional approach. The designer, added the new water main to an extended period simulation hydraulic model of the pressure zone and considered two scenarios. In the first scenario, 
the existing water main is in service, and in the second scenario the existing water main is out of service. Then, the designer generated the flow pattern in the water main, and the pressure pattern at the discharge header of the pump station number 2. Based on these results, the designer estimated that the maximum flow and pressure that could be experienced by this water main is 83 mld and 96 meters which is the maximum allowed pressure at the head pipe. The project then was given to us for a thorough review of the hydraulic modeling outcomes based on full system operational simulation analysis, using HydraCal. As you may see the system is very complicated and includes numerous boundary conditions with various states. For instance, PS1 has six similar pumps which means seven different states. Additionally, three different demand scenarios, that is, 2014 MHD, 2014 PHD, or 2041 PHD, were considered. The combination of all various states results in 2.4 million scenarios. We modeled these scenarios in less than 3 hours by HydraCal. The results are fascinating. The maximum estimated flow in this water main seems to reach 140 mld and the pressure seems to exceed 96 meters, and as high as 120 meters. Please note that the traditional approach only resulted in 83 mld and 96 meters. User also is able to interpret the output information and estimate, how to modify the PS2 control narrative just by looking at the pressure graphs, for instance it can be seen that if more than one pump at PS2 is in service during night, that is, 2014 MHD, the pressure could exceed the 96 meters limit, and so on. In conclusion, HydroCal provides the full picture on how your design would perform under all possible scenarios relative to the system. This allows the designer to have a better understanding on the system performance and make a more informed decision on how to proceed. It also provides valuable information on how to modify and update other system components to mitigate any unwanted side effects of your design. It is important to appreciate that this approach does not replace the need for thoughtful analysis and skill on the part of the engineer and in many ways is only suited for those with sufficient strength in this subject matter in order to harness the power of the approach. The power of this approach lies in its ability to evaluate numerous combinations and ranges of operation, however, to the untrained in the art of hydraulic analysis and water distribution system designs and operations, there is always the possibility of misinterpretations. Thanks, and until the next tutorial, good luck and enjoy designing.